So take a deep breath with me. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in, breathe in God's breath, God's spirit, God's presence. God's love, God's joy, God's peace, and breathe out everything else. Breathe out your fear, your sin, your anxiety, your anger. God is with us. Trust. Let me share with you a passage, passage from Exodus, Exodus chapter 16, verses 11 through 15. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the complaining of the Israelites. Say to them, at twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread. Then you shall know that I am the Lord your God. In the evening quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the layer of dew lifted, there on the surface of the wilderness was a fine flaky substance, as fine as frost on the ground. When the Israelites saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. You ever heard of, of Bear Grylls? He has a ton of survival shows. Uh, Man vs. Wild, You vs. Wild, Running Wild with Bear. It, but basically the point is he's, he's dropped off in the wilderness. Uh, could be Africa, could be the Amazon, could be Australia. So all, all over the place, a desert somewhere. And he shows you how to survive. And mostly it turns out surviving is a matter of perception of looking at things in a different way, of, of learning to live off of what's around. So for example, like he'll, he'll see moss on a tree and we, we might think, well, that's moss, but he says and he shows how it can be used for insulation or, or kindling. He sees a mound of snow and, and we might think, well, cold, frozen, but he digs a hole in it and it shows how it can it can shield you from, from the elements, how it can actually provide heat. Or he sees a dead seal and we think rotten, gross, but he puts it on as a wetsuit and it shows how it can protect you from the freezing waters. And then there's what he eats. A grub lying on the ground, slimy and wriggling, and he pops it in his mouth and says, full of nutrients. Or picks up a root from off the ground and takes off some of the mud around it and says, you know, tastes like dirt, but, but it'll give you vitamins and it'll get you through the day. There's all kinds of other things that he eats too. Spiders, scorpions, mice, the things that we would never ever think to eat. But they, they provide sustenance and protein and vitamins in the wilderness. It's what you've got to do to, to survive. And here, the Israelites have been dropped off in the wilderness, the wilderness around the area of Mount Sinai. Maybe we've been dropped off in the wilderness too, quarantined for months, and social distancing, masks, no end in sight. And the Israelites start to complain and, and grumble, like maybe we complain and grumble. Maybe we should go back to Egypt, they said. Yeah, we were slaves there. Sure, we were slaves, but, but at least we had food. At least we had a place to stay. We're out in the wilderness now. How will we survive? Who will take care of us? And maybe you're wondering the same thing. But they weren't in the wilderness by accident. God, through Moses, led them out there so that they could learn to, to live off of God, learn to live off what's around, learn to live with God, to trust in God, to see that God provides, even out in the wilderness. And God promises them quail and bread every day. 
The quail is quail. It's the bread that really intrigues me. Because when they first see it, it's like they wrinkle their noses at, at it. Manhu, they say, which means, what is it? Which is where we get the word mana. What is it? Like it's some bug wriggling on the ground. Like it's something only, only Bear Grylls would eat. And their descriptions of it are, are pretty vague. Like it's like a fine flaky substance on the ground, it says. Later, it looks like coriander, tastes like honey, can be baked into bread. What is it? It's, it's definitely not any kind of bread that they're used to. Turns out actually that it might not even be, be what we call bread at all. People in that area, the area around Mount Sinai still eat collect what they call mana. You know what it is? There's lice that live off the tamarisk trees there. They eat and feed off the trees all day and then in the morning they secrete this flaky substance on the ground. Guess what? Looks like coriander. Tastes like honey. It could be that mana is, is bug juice. God, God promises to provide bread, but doesn't say what kind. They're learning to live off what's around, learning to live off God, to trust God. Us too, learning to trust God. God will provide. Jesus teaches us to pray for daily bread. Proverbs 30 says, give me neither poverty nor riches, just give me daily bread. What is daily bread? Can God make loaves of bread spring up from the ground magically? Well, probably. But it could also be that daily bread, that manna, is bug juice. That Jesus is teaching us to live off of what's around. Not what we expect, not what we want, but what's around. I believe that God provides always that we will survive, that there is grace sustenance, provisions all around, mana all around. It might be something we wrinkle our nose at sometimes. Sometimes it might be something delicious. But the point is God always provides for us. And we, we tend to think that, that if we're in the wilderness, if we're not comfortable, if, that, if we don't have everything that we, we think we want or that we think we need, that God must not be listening to us, or that we might have done something wrong or made God angry. But it could just be that God, like Bear Grylls, is teaching us to look in a new way, to perceive in a new way, to see the grace that's already around us. Jesus says, I am the bread from heaven. Even out here in the wilderness, there's grace. God is working, renewing, sustaining, bringing new life, teaching us new ways. I like Bear Grill because, because he teaches me actually a lot about faith. Because survival in the wilderness is a lot like faith. You're learning to live off of what's around, learning to live off God, learning to live with God learning to trust God. There is so much potential and abundance of grace and mana all around. It took the Israelites generations to learn to see it. I pray that we will learn to see it, that God provides, that God loves us and takes care of us always, that there is mana daily bread for us every morning. Might not look like we want, but it's there. Let me close with these words from Teresa of Avila. She says, let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. Those who cling to God will lack nothing. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. God alone is enough. Let us pray. New every morning like mana is your love. 
great God of life. And all day long, every day, whether we see it or not, whether we enjoy it or not, you are working for good in this world. You bring hope, you bring love, you bring grace, and we pray that you would work in us, that you would stir in us, that we would join with you in all that you're doing. Work in us that we might live peacefully with our neighbors, that we might love those around us. Work in us and help us to give each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, make us more like Him. Give us His eyes. Give us His compassion. Help us to live with you, to trust you. And we pray for, pray for those who are sick, those who are suffering, those who are stressed or oppressed or depressed, those who are abused, those who need a word of kindness, a word of grace. We pray for our community, for its needs, for its future. We pray for this world, for all of its people, for our brothers and sisters, for our leaders. And we pray for your church, that you would continue to strengthen us and encourage us to be your hands and your feet in this world. Lord, we lift up these, we lift up all of our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. God is all that we need. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness. May he protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he's shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.